So I want to talk a little bit about uh, this holiday, Valentine's Day, by sharing the fact that the original Valentine's Day was not meant to be a, in a romantic way. And I know for a lot of people, Valentine nowadays is not a happy holiday because like you're not with your loved one, meaning your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, etc. Um, but the original example of love is where it came from, and that is the love that Jesus showed us um, with what he did 2,000 years ago. Um, the fact that the creator of the universe, um, who created you, loved you so much that he sent his one and only begotten son to this earth to suffer, to die. I mean, Jesus was perfection. Uh, even on earth, he was perfection, but he was living in a world full of sin, full of hate, full of deceit, full of lies. And the fact that Jesus, who didn't have to do any of this, you know, God didn't have to do, he didn't have to send his son, Jesus didn't have to suffer, he didn't have to die, but that's like the ultimate love, the ultimate sacrifice, is that he loved you so much that he didn't want to leave you in this sinful world. He wanted to come and save you and protect you, and he did that by coming here and offering himself as the living sacrifice to take your sin away, to be placed on him, so that you could be blameless in God's sight. And all you have to do is believe that, and you're adopted into God's family. There's nothing that can be done, you know, nobody can get you, Satan can't have you, you're there, you're protected, and you one day get to go to heaven. And not just go to heaven, but one day Jesus returns and you get to rule here on the new earth, you know, whenever that happened, the rapture could occur anytime. But just that's really the ultimate Valentine, the ultimate example of love. And, you know, some of you out there feel like you're not loved. Um, you have your days, you have your moments, you might have that's your life, you don't feel loved, but just know that someone loved you so much that he came here to this horrible place and he died for you. Like he was thinking of you. He wasn't thinking about the group of people. He wasn't thinking about the good people, the holy people. He was thinking about you when he sacrificed himself, when he hung on the cross. He was thinking of you as he suffered and all of the sin was placed on him. So not only was he suffering a physical death, he was suffering a horrible, I mean, he had never experienced sin, but just this horrible, all of the emotions that come with sin, that comes with our imperfections, like um, deceit, betrayal, anger, um, just all of this that he hadn't experienced, um, sin wise and he took that and he bore that for you and he took the sin of everyone in the whole world placed on him uh, he didn't have to do that he knew what was going to happen he's God he knew what it was going to feel like how it was going to be and he was so nervous and grieved about it that the night before he was taken he wept blood he was so stressed about it but he did it, and he did it because of you, because he loves you that much. That is what Valentine's is about. I hope you guys can see that and just know that no matter what, no matter what, you are so loved. And it is my hope and my prayer that you will see that love, that you'll accept that love, and that you will find place in your heart to allow Jesus to come in, because that's what it's about. I know a lot of Christians give Christianity a bad name. Um, and that's because they are, even though if you're a Christian, you're still a sinner. You still don't do things the way that you're supposed to. And it's not about us. It's not about that. It's about um, Christians are supposed to live and be like Christ. But we still fall short of that. And some people purposefully act a certain way to give Christianity a bad name. But just ignore all of those 
Christians ignore me in my everyday, you know, vlogging and, and all that and just think about the fact that that it's all about what Jesus did for you, what God did for you, and He created you. He loved you. He gave you life. He gave you a purpose. And Jesus, and He gave you His one and only Son for you because He loves you, because Jesus loves you. And through them, the Holy Spirit who's there and protects you and loves you. And I just hope you'll get that message. I'm sorry, it almost is like a rambling video, but... I love you guys, and Jesus loves you more. God loves you more. Uh, for God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, thank you guys for watching. Love you.